that this time, emerging from the first base from the Rays dugout, it's my honor to introduce Tampa Bay's own Wade Boggs. Please join me in welcoming his lovely wife, Debbie, and his two children, Brett and Megan. Congratulations and welcome to the Rays Hall of Fame. Great to be back home. Thank you, Dwayne. Thank you, Brian. Good afternoon, Tampa Bay. I stand before you today deeply humbled and truly honored to be part of the inaugural class of the 2023 Tampa Bay Rays Hall of Fame, which include the late, great Don Zimmer and the dynamic player, Carl Crawford. I'd like to extend my congratulations to Soot Zimmer and the Zimmer family, and to call Crawford and his family. I'd like to thank Chuck Lamar, Larry Rothschild, and the late Vince Namoli for making my dream come true, which was to come back home to play in front of family and friends and be a member of that inaugural team in 1998. Then on that faithful night, August 7th, 1999, with the wonderful call with our very own Dwayne Stats, I quote, that baby's gonna get out of here. And with that swing, I etched my name into the Tampa Bay Devil Rays record books forever. I'd like to thank my lovely wife, Debbie, of 47 years. Our daughter, Megan, her husband, Billy, and their children, Aiden, Colin, and Madison. Our son, Brett, his wife, along with their children, Beckett, Harper, Colin, Talon, Lindley, and Gracie, for their love and their unwavering support throughout my whole career. Thank you, honey. I love you. Actually, Debbie was ecstatic that I signed with Tampa Bay. That meant she didn't have to pack up those dreaded UPS boxes anymore and ship them to New York or Boston. 
So that was wonderful. We got to live out of our own home. That was very special. I'd like to thank my, thank my trainers, Jamie Reed, Ken Crenshaw, strength and conditioning coach Kevin Harmon, and Dr. Coco Eaton for keeping me on the field. God knows that some of the times it was very difficult to get out there. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank you, the fans, who inspire us as players to go out each and every night to perform to the best of our ability to put on a good show for you. Thank you. Although my time in Tampa Bay was brief, I was very fortunate to wear many hats. That of a player, assistant general manager, a hitting coach, and even with my partner, a broadcaster with Dwayne Stats. But the hat that I will wear now that I'm most proud of and that will be the hat of a Tampa Bay Rays Hall of Famer. Thank you. I'd like to leave you today with one thought. Our lives are not determined by what happens to us, but how we react to what happens. Not by what life brings us, but the attitude we bring to life. A positive attitude causes a chain reaction of positive thoughts, events, and outcomes. It's a catalyst, and it sparks extraordinary results. Thank you, and may God bless. Thank you very much, Tampa Bay. It's an extreme honor. Thank you. It's better than that jacket, that Hall of Fame jacket, is a bat in his hand. Wade Boggs, the latest, the latest addition to the Rays Hall of Fame, ladies and gentlemen. We have the presentation of the gifts. Two fishing rods over there. Two custom rods built by the master builder and local Floridian Don Morse at American Tackle in collaboration with Juno Bait. That would include Wade's name and number as well as the original Tampa Bay Rays, Tampa Bay Devil Rays logos and colors throughout. Perfect for inshore fishing like snook and snapper and bass and the beautiful glass trophy one of a kind created by Tim Saluna of Morian Art Center. So we send our congratulations to Wade Boggs on the honor of his induction into the Rays Hall of Fame. And we thank you for your loyalty and your attention. Thank you very much.
Bateman. Throwing on today's ceremonial first pitch is Wade Ball. Congratulations to Rays Hall of Fame member Wade Boggs, the second member entered into the inaugural Rays Hall of Fame class. Pop and circumstance gets put away now.